As far as education, um, I did complete uh, high school. I went to Sheridan for a year or two, but I honestly ended up flunking out of uh, Sheridan. And I was taking a uh, social service worker. Yeah, mm -hmm. to work for my dad. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I think I flunked out was because there simply was no passion or desire mm -hmm. to be a social service worker or to work in that field. Mm -hmm. And I believe that if there is no passion and no desire behind something you're doing, you're not going to do well at it. And that was pressure that I felt from my mom who basically mm -hmm. said, you know, uh, you need to secure yourself. If you have certain visions for yourself, that's great, but you need security. You need fixed income. And I believed in that to a certain extent, mm -hmm. but I believe that I, my vision, desire to do modeling and chase my own personal dreams was a lot stronger than uh, leading the secure, linear lifestyle, and that's the reason I didn't do well at it. Mm -hmm. So coming from a background where I saw my father uh, be such a strong, successful entrepreneur, that inspired me, but the pressure from my mom to uh, go to school and live this very linear safe lifestyle just wasn't for me I ended up flunking out unfortunately mm -hmm. but I didn't use I didn't take advantage of that and be a complete dropout and not chase my dreams and stuff like that I made sure that as a result of flunking out of this I said the reason I flunked out of this is because I didn't pursue this so that's what inspired me to pursue what I'm doing now mm -hmm. and you said your mom was very strict how was your dad how did he take you wanting to pursue modeling he was supportive of it. At the end of the day, my dad, I believe my dad said he moved out on his own when he was 16 years old. So he said, as long as you can support yourself and take care of yourself, the the means of, of how you do that and what you're doing the long term is, is up to you, really. What was your first photo shoot like? Your first photo shoot? It was an interesting experience. I A lot of people would probably say they're pretty nervous, but I was actually quite excited. So it did go really well. I enjoyed it. And who did you shoot for? It was for uh, an organization called Fitness Star International. They basically host fitness model competitions and they selected a certain group of models, male and female, to do a free photo shoot for. So right away, when I knew I was one of the few models, male models that was selected, that really uplifted my confidence level mm -hmm. and I was really looking forward to getting the shoot done. It went exceptionally well. Beautiful. And it takes a lot of confidence too to get on the runway. What was your first runway experience like? I remember feeling really confident about it. I think it was between one and three minutes when I was lining up. Like basically we'd all line up, the 12 of us or whoever, however many are in my category. Um, when I was down like the second or third last before I went on, there was a certain rush and I was like, oh my God, like is this really happening? But then I was able to transmute that rush into something very positive and I believe it uplifted my confidence and I went out there and I just killed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you hear those cheers, the girls just screaming, Woo, go Brody or any supporters, how do you feel? <laughs> That's honestly a, an awesome feeling. You really cannot take for granted when you have people such as family and friends, you know, pay 40, 50 bucks to come into these shows. They're expensive to come into and stand there and cheer for you. Like it's, it's honestly major because I remember after, I think it was my second show, a guy that came out right after me in my category had, it sounded like absolutely no one there for him. Mm -hmm. So to not have that can suck. And I guess it is what it is, but you really cannot take those things for granted. Beautiful. Yeah. And what would you recommend to aspiring male models? What advice would you give them? Do your due diligence. I can think of two years ago when I was just sending my pictures out to random agencies all over North America and not getting any response. Couldn't figure out why. You know, I get told I'm a good looking guy, go get some good photos done, send them in, and you'll get considered. But in the past couple of years I've had different people mentor me in this industry and you have to respect the process and you have to do your due diligence I mean there's certain measurements you know your physique has to be has to fit certain measurement requirements you know there's a certain level of confidence a certain level of knowledge a certain level of knowledge you have to have before you do these photo shoots and and understand what the expectations are in the industry before you go pursuing a career in modeling so what's on the horizon for Brody what's next well, this opportunity to go to the Philippines is huge. Like I said, I've been working towards an opportunity like this for some time. Once I get down there, I'm ready to work really, really hard. I believe that I'm going to get booked like crazy, so I'm doing lots of shoots, commercials, TV, all that kind of stuff. But what I'm hoping is that the modeling thing, once again, we touched on it a bit earlier, is that it leads into acting in the big screen and stuff like that. I want to go to uh, Asia, clean up, get to Europe, clean up, and then get to L.A. and just kill it. Amazing. Yeah. And tell us how we can follow you, how we can support you, all your social media outlets. Give us all that info. 
I'm absolutely big on social media and the internet and whatnot, but BrodyNero.com is the hub for me. As far as other social media platforms, on Twitter, you can follow me at Brody Nero. On Instagram, it's at BN underscore body and style. On Facebook, it's Brody Nero body and style. And what else is there? Email I'm big on as well. Hit me up at getconnected at BrodyNero.com. Beautiful. Thank you so much for sitting with us. Thank you. And all the best in the Philippines. Thank you so much. All right. I'm Candifar Farkali for Fashion Studio 7 Magazine. Until next time.